Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 20th of 2020, well, it is titled Morning Planets, Moon, and Montreal. So what do we see here? Well, scenery looking out over Montreal, Canada, and we see up in the sky a number of different objects, and objects within our own solar system primarily is what we are looking at here. Now, the one that stands out the most is, of course, the moon, and you can see that uh, toward little to the left of center of the image. And this is the crescent phase of the moon, just the thin portion on the left-hand side being illuminated. And that makes it the waning crescent, where it is getting less and less illuminated each day. And that is the moon that will be visible in the morning sky just before sunrise. And in fact, if you look off towards the horizon, towards the left here, you can see the dawn beginning to break and the light along the horizon starting to show up. Now we can also see several planets in this image, and in fact, three planets that are visible here. And the brightest of these is Jupiter, which is uh, just a little bit above and slightly to the left of the uh, moon. Um, and we can also see the planet Mars, uh, very close to that, just to the right of Jupiter. And then further off and down towards, the, uh, down towards the lower left, we will see the planet Saturn. So all three of these planets are visible right now in the morning sky. So a chance to be able to see these over the coming days. Now, this was taken a couple of days ago. So the moon, which moves relatively quickly, is now fading into the sun and will be much harder to see as we approach the new moon phase. However, the planets will still be there and will still be visible. So you can actually see all of these planets in the morning sky. And even Mercury would be there, although slightly down very close to the horizon and not visible in this image. Now, if you look at the way the planets are aligned, they're actually very close to a straight line in the sky. And that is because they follow a path known as the ecliptic. The ecliptic is the path or parent path of the sun through the sky and is actually related then to the Earth's orbit around the sun. But we see it, of course, as the sun appearing to move through the sky. Now, because the solar system is very flat, we see all of the other objects follow the same path. So the ecliptic is also the path of the sun and the moon and the planets. So they will all be very close to this. And generally, you can connect them with a relatively straight line. There are only slight variations above and below this. And that is why the sun, moon, and planets pass through the same set of constellations over the course of a year. And those are the well-known constellations that we call the constellations of the zodiac. And they're important not because they're necessarily bright constellations. In many cases, they're not very bright stars. However, they are the ones that the objects in the solar system always pass through. And that made them important to early astronomers. So that was our picture of the day for March the 20th of 2020. It was titled Morning, Planets, Moon, and Montreal. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.